training on it today. We're picking up these logs and putting them on the trailer there. So my trainer is up in the seat right now. And he's grabbing this log that's right close to the fence here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's exactly why I didn't want to grab it. So he's gonna grab it, get it away from the fence so we don't have to mess up the fence at all and wreck it. And then I'm gonna climb up there and uh, we're gonna load these up onto the trailer. This isn't an actual trailer we take on the highway. Just so you know, it's just a training trailer. Try to get away from the noise there. While still staying in a safe spot. So he's gonna put the butt end of the log up against that there. doing this today, tomorrow, and possibly Thursday, but at least today and tomorrow for sure. We'll pick it up a few times and then when I'm working up there that's his seat a trainer's seat 
Maybe I should go sit in it now. And when he turns around and looks, now I'm the trainer. So since Marmaduke is so much longer than the other ones, he's got to rest it on the trailer there and bring his clamps closer to the butt end so that he can set it down. Oh, he's bringing the pole with him. It's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. There's so many controls up there. I'll probably be able to show you more tomorrow. Tomorrow we're actually going to be uh, using an actual highway trailer for it that we use on the highway. Uh, this is just my trainer getting everything into position for me. He's requested not to be on camera. Just so you know, that's why I'm not showing him. Everybody's got their own choice. If they don't want to be on camera, they don't have to be on camera. But he said I'm welcome to film what we're doing here. So. Tomorrow, I'd like to put the head strap on. Because he's sitting up, uh, he's sitting up here. Behind my water bottle. He sits up here. And tomorrow I'm hoping to put my head cam on and be able to operate this thing with a head cam. Loading and unloading the pole so you can see it from my perspective. That'd be pretty cool. See, now he's trying to get the butt end off the trailer there and onto the ground. Okay. It's a little tricky. That's, the bigger the pole, the trickier it is. That's what I'm told. Then. I'm seeing it firsthand. My turn will be next. And he's probably going <laughs> to probably going a lot faster than I will. We're in a bit of a tricky corner here, too. So yeah, that's sort of like a little bit of a tidbit of what I've been doing all day. I've been trying to learn as much as I can and focus. Uh, but like I said, uh, the trainer's totally welcome with me filming what we're doing here. He just doesn't want to be on the film himself, and that's perfectly fine with me. I'm just excited that I'm able to show you guys, because this is pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to actually being out there in the field. Being out there and uh, picking up and delivering bowls all over Manitoba. Who knows where else we'll go with these things. It's something I won't be, I won't be doing it full time, but it's something I'll be doing part time just to fill in for now. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you guys once I'm done work here. Uh, we're gonna play around with Marmaduke here for a while and then uh, head home. I'd like to get a little bit done on our deck today yet. I'd like to have our deck done by the weekend. That's my goal. So I'm doing a little bit in the evenings after work. A little bit every day. Oh, I think he's almost got it. He's just got to push it out, push it out, and then put it on the ground. That's going to be fun to play around with. There we go. He's got it. That's a heavy pole. And we, we haul even bigger ones than that yet. That's just the biggest one we have here right now. Anyways, he set it down, so I guess it's my turn to crawl up there. I'll talk to you guys when we're done work today. Almost at 10,000 miles. And we're over 100 miles, that means it's, uh, it's time to fuel up on the way home. Killo from Future. So I wanted to end off this video and explain to you a little bit of what was going on today. Uh, this was the first day of training, so... Uh, uh, you know, it's the first day, you never quite know what to expect. You never know what quite what you're doing. So I could only talk to you when uh, uh, the trainer was up on the on the crane. Uh, we didn't get too much filming, but I got a bit of a sunburn. And uh, tomorrow, we train some more. And uh, I'm able to show you a little bit more of my view of things from up on the crane. I think, it's, I think it turned out really well. Uh, I hope so, anyways. But, you know, as you're training, uh, is, or after I'm done training and we're out in the field... Uh, picking up logs and stuff all over Manitoba. It's going to be pretty cool to show you guys what we do. Uh, so, anyway, oh, I've gotten more progress on my deck, and I don't want to show you yet because that's coming in future videos. So you see, I want to hook you in so that you come back. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We make new videos pretty much every day, and I'm doing something different most days. Like today, we're learning how to use a pole picker or a boom truck, or a knuckle boom, or a crane, or whatever you want to call it. The thingy with the claws. We'll just call it the claw. How about that? I like that better. We'll call it the claw. 
So I'm looking here at the progress on the deck, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you, but I'm happy with it. It's turning out really well, and uh, looks like I'm on schedule to get it finished when I want to. I just gotta build the step yet on the driveway side. That'll come later, whenever. But yeah, thanks for watching today and hanging out. I appreciate all of you guys that have been here through the years. I really do. A little update on my mom, and she is still improving. Um, she's doing really well considering everything and uh you know i don't want to speak too soon uh but i think at this point we can say she's she's gonna make it she's gonna recover it's gonna be a long recovery and a difficult one but uh she's uh she's not in the icu anymore i want to give a shout out to the nurses and the doctors that were working on her there and give you a special thank you Turns out that a few of the nurses that were uh, helping my mom and you know, saving her life actually watched this channel. What are the chances of that, right? That a nurse watches a trucking channel. But uh, hey, I'm glad you're here anyways if you're watching this. I want to give you a, a personal thank you directly to you. You know who you are. Uh, you recognize my mom, I guess, when she was in there, maybe from the video when I said she was going to the ICU. Uh, there's no words that I can say to express to you how grateful I am. You saved my mom, and uh, I have no words that can say thank you enough. And to the doctors that were there too, we appreciate you, and you are true heroes in what you do. So she's been moved out of the ICU. She's now recovering. She's been transferred closer to us nearby. And, uh, Every day she keeps getting stronger and stronger, and it's we thank you to all of you for sending your prayers and uh, positive thoughts her way. Uh, they help more than you think. So all around things look to be going good. So I'll leave you guys with that tidbit of good news. Hopefully uh, your days are good, and. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do some more training tomorrow. I'm kind of excited to show you. Actually, I got the footage on my computer over there already. I'm actually pretty excited to go through it.